Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and you'll have to forgive me for my voice, I have a little head cold today, but just like everyone else, I still have to go to work too. So, let's go ahead and go over the 2018 Jayco J-Flight SLX 195RB. This is a short little travel trailer, it's a single axle, so it's easy to, uh, easy to pull, easy to park, and it has a pretty good layout as well. Starting off with one of my favorite things, which is the campside dinette. I like when manufacturers are able to do this because in all reality, this is the view I want, right? I'm sitting here, I'm having my morning cup of coffee, maybe my breakfast, and I'm able to look out at my campsite. That's what I wanna see. I don't wanna stare off into my neighbors unless maybe I know them, but you know, more importantly again, I just really like this view. You'll also see there's an LED light right there, so if you need some light at night, maybe you're playing games, you can have that as well. Right up top here, you do have some storage. Open up both of these doors here for you so you can take a look. And right over here to the side is your radio. This does control the speakers and it's also Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone, tablet, something like that, you want to connect to it, you certainly can. LED lights here on the ceiling, folks. You have LED lights all the way throughout, which are great because not only do they not put out near as much heat, they also use a fraction of the power. Right here in the center is your WineGuard Razor antenna. That's a nice antenna, something you usually don't get on a unit this size. It's a low profile antenna. You don't have to worry about, you know, cranking it down when you're leaving. It's not going to snap off. You just turn it to find the best signal. Moving uh, back a little bit further here, you do have a power awning. We'll see that when we go outside. This is your control for it right here. Uh, light on the awning as well as your central lights. Of course, door, fire extinguisher. Hopefully you never have to use that. But just so you know, if you do, remember, I saved your life. It's right there by the door. Right back here is your uh, kind of your main wardrobe in this RV. So you have a couple different options here. You can definitely, you know, if you're bringing a lot of clothes, you can certainly hang a lot of clothes in here. Or because it is right by the entrance, you can obviously use it as a giant coat rack. So, you know, especially if you like doing some cold weather camping, maybe later in the fall, early in the spring, you can hang all your stuff up right there. Plenty of room for shoes underneath. And then you have the built-in shelf there too. Right here's your thermostat. This controls the heat. You have a sidewall mounted AC in this unit and the controls for that will be on the AC itself. So this will be for your uh, furnace. Your furnace, by the way, folks, is right over here. I'll show you that when we take a look at the kitchen. But first, let's take a look at the bathroom here. We take a look in the back, right down below there, you see the foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room in the front. You also see you have a toilet paper holder right off to the side. You have a mirror above there if you wanna check yourself out. And over to this side here is your tub shower. This makes it nice and easy to wash up. Uh, the cool thing about having the, tu the, the tub is it has a higher threshold. So that way, the curtain, as you can see, will stay in the tub itself, so you don't have water splashing all over the place. You also have a hand wand to make showering easy, and you have a skylight there too to give you some additional headroom, as well as let in some light during the day. Right outside of that, we'll open this up. Big pantry here. You have to love this, especially in a small RV. This is great for you know whether you want to put plates in here, pots and pans, or if you just have a ton of food you're bringing with you, that can go in here as well. Moving over a little bit further, we get into the rest of the kitchen. Uh, as I promised, right here is your furnace, direct vent furnace, folks. It's all you need in a travel trailer this size. And then right over here next to that, underneath the sink, you have a pretty good uh, storage area right here. So it is big enough. You want to fit a smaller trash can there, you can do that. And you also have a little bit of storage up on either side of the P-trap where you can store some cleaning supplies. Over next to that, you have the Dometic 3 cubic foot fridge freezer. You can take a look at that right here. Folks, this one does run off both propane and electric, and it also has automatic switchover, which is pretty darn cool for a three cubic foot. A lot of times they don't have the auto switchover, uh, so that's pretty neat that it does. The countertop itself, you'll see you have all this prep space right here. The way they're able to achieve that in a smaller floor plan is they give you a single bowl instead of a double bowl sink, and then you have the two burner instead of a three burner, and as you will see, it is twisted vertically there. But again, and uh, because of that, you have all this extra prep space, which is pretty great. On the wall itself here, you will notice your tank monitoring panel right over there with your water pump. Uh, this is actually for your TV. So if you want TV in here, basically just set it right here on the countertop. You plug it in right there. Or if you have a 12 volt, you can plug in your 12 volt TV. That way you can run your TV off battery. And then you have the signal booster there as well. And right up top here, this is your, uh, your hood. This does have a vent and a uh, light in there. And then you have the microwave right above that. 
over to the side some additional storage space. As I had mentioned earlier, this one is a uh, sidewall mounted AC. So this is your AC unit right here. The controls for that are right on the unit itself. Now as we take a look up front, of course, this is your bedroom. You have a privacy curtain here that does go all the way across. You know, your uh, dinette does drop down into a small bed. So if you have guests, maybe, you know, kids, grandkids, something like that that are staying with you, you can close that curtain and have the privacy that you want. Windows on both sides to allow for some cross ventilation there. Queen bed in here. And folks, I really like the bedding. If you take a look at it, uh, one, you know, it's fairly stylish. But two, it's actually kind of thick. It's, it's a nice comforter. You know, compared to what you get in most RVs, this is something I would actually use. Whereas a lot of times, you know, you have to immediately go out and replace it. On both sides of the bed, you have large nightstands there with electrical outlets. So you have a place to charge your electronics. Or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can sleep with that on either side of the bed. Then right up top, you have a hanging rod on either side. So it's not super tall storage, uh, you know, or it's super tall hanging area there. And that's why I say you may want to use the back one as your main wardrobe. But it really all depends on how long you're going to be camping and what all you're taking with you. You also have this shelf going right across the top here in between. So you can definitely add some extra clothes there. LED lights underneath and you have the window going across the front. It does have the rock guard on there, but obviously that can open up so that way you can let some natural light in. At nighttime, you know, if you have the rock guard up, you don't have to go outside and close it. You do have a shade here as well. So you can just go ahead and pull that all the way down. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features of the J-Flight SLX 195RB. Starting off right up front here, 20 pound propane tank. Right behind that, you have rails there for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that'll get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As I mentioned folks, right here is that rock guard, again, to help protect your, uh, uh, your window from any rocks that get thrown up. That way it's not you know, smashing the glass on the window. And you can open that up you just tighten these little wing nuts here, that way it'll stay open. You kind of tighten that on both sides. And as I mentioned, that way it's letting in some natural light for you. When you come around to the side here, this is your pass through. One of the things that Jayco has done is they've gone to the key alike system, which I like. Uh, the reason being, it's a little more secure. A lot of people don't know this, but most companies use just a 751 key, which all of them are the same. So if someone wants to be malicious and they want to break into your pass-through and steal everything out of there, if they have a 751 key, most of the time they can do it. With the key alike system though, all your baggage door keys as well as your entry door key are the same one, and they are all unique to the unit. So that way, everything is nice and secure. We take a look inside here. You'll see you do have plenty of storage. Uh, you have uh, access from this point right here on the campsite. You also have access from underneath the bed. So if you want to lift the bed up and access anything in your front storage area, you can certainly do that. Power awning on here, folks. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It is a Solera awning. There's a couple cool features about the Solera awning. One, the speakers are on the head of the awning, so that way when your awning is fully extended, the music is playing down on your campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. You also have an LED light strip that is sewn into the fabric itself there. Cool thing about that is just flip of a switch, the light is on. It doesn't matter if your awning is rolled up like it is right now or fully extended, you will have the light either way. And again, it is shining down on your campsite. Also, it's super easy to adjust the pitch on there. It's literally just pull it and then you can adjust the pitch one way or the other for water runoff or again, if you just want to lower the whole thing, create some more shade, you can do that too. Double electrical outlets, need to plug anything in out here. It's pretty simple to do. You can plug it in right there. Uh, because this one is Jayco, folks, it also does have the Magnum truss system for the roof. If you're not familiar with that, uh, basically is what it is, it's Magnum, it's bigger, right? So your vertical uh, supports, rather than being one buys or being like a one inch aluminum strip, basically what they have is they have two by twos in there. So can support a lot more weight. Jayco's done tests, can support up to 4,500 pounds, which is super impressive on a roof. They also use Diflex 2 on there, which is essentially is a fleeceless TPO, meaning it doesn't have the fleece bottom, so it doesn't absorb moisture like a lot of the TPOs did if they ever got cut. Uh, and because it is a TPO, it also doesn't have the maintenance that your rubber roof has. You won't get as much streaking. You don't have to get up there every year and put, you know, add the additives back into it that get leached out. Of course, you still want to go up there and check your leveling agents, make sure that you know, your lap sealant is where it needs to be. It's not cracking, broken, things like that. 
But, you know, again, that goes with any RV. You always want to be able to do that. Plus, it's, you know, a TPO generally isn't pliable. Not the case to Dicor 2. It is just as pliable as rubber. So great roof system up top. We take a look at the axles here. These are also easy lube axles, folks. All you have to do is pop this little cap off right here. There's a greaser back there. You can go ahead and pump grease into that guy. Now, there is still a process to do it. You just don't want to go pumping a bunch of grease in there, but it is still easier than constantly repacking your bearings. Fold-out step, be able to climb up in here. You also have the grab handle right there just to give you a little extra control. So we come around to the back, you see your square tubular bumper here with the end caps. You can pull those end caps off and slide your sewer hose in there, that way you have a convenient storage spot for those. And then right here is your spare tire mounted on the bumper. Cool thing about this is it is the easiest place to get to it. Hopefully you never have to use it folks, but if you do it's riding right back here. Also has the cover on there, so it should be in good shape. Couple quick things on the off door side here. You see you have your city water connection right over here. Termination will be right down below. You do have both your gray and black tank valves there. Water heater. Over here is your 30 amp power cord. Nice and easy. Just pull it right out. You know, push it right back in when you're done. You can close this down when it's out. Just makes it look a little bit cleaner. And lastly, if we take a look right up front here, if you plan on doing some boondocking, you want to fill your fresh water tanks, that is where you would put it right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco J-Flight SLX 7 195RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.